This question is all about how we write a redox equation. Um, so let's have a look at what they've given you in the question and how you would break it down to answer this. So they say an acidic solution of hydrogen peroxide, which already is a big clue that we're doing redox equations here. I'll explain why in a second oxidized iron 2 to iron 3 ions. So that means that the oxidation is iron 2, which means iron 2 plus, going to iron 3 plus. Um, notice how I like leave gaps in my equations just in case I need to add extra stuff. Um, it's worth just like leaving yourself a bit of space. And then it says um, the hydrogen peroxide is reduced to water. So reduction is H2O2 being reduced to water. Okay, so we've got these two equations here that need balancing. Hopefully the first one is kind of more okay because it's uh, just got iron, there's only one element there. Um, so the atoms for iron are already balanced. I've got one iron on each side. Um, I just need to balance for the charge. So there's two plus on the left-hand side, three plus on the right-hand side. So I need one electron here and that whole thing is balance. That is correct for the oxidation equation. Now, when I look at the reduction, there is literally no way for me to balance this. Like, I can't add a two here and everything like magically works because like I've got hydrogens and oxygens on both sides. So the fact that they told you that it's an acidic solution is telling you that you can add more H pluses to this example to help you solve it. But the route that you solve it is first, you have to solve the oxygen problem. The oxygen problem you solve by adding waters. So the first thing we do is we resolve any oxygen issues by adding water. So right now I've got two oxygens on the left and one on the right. So I need to add another water molecule to the right hand side and my oxygen is now balanced. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add H pluses to balance the hydrogens out. So right now I've got four hydrogens on the right and only two on the left. So I'm going to add another two H pluses here. Remember I can do this because they told me it was an acidic solution. So I'm all good. I can add it in. No dramas. <laughs> um, so now my hydrogens are balanced. There's four on the left and four on the right. The last thing you're going to do is to balance the charge by adding electrons. So if I look at the charge here, I can see it's two plus on the left-hand side and it's neutral on the right. I can only add electrons, which are negative. So I'm gonna make this side, the left-hand side, neutral to balance with the right. And overall, now both sides are zero. Notice that they don't have to be zero, like it would be okay if both sides were minus four, as long as they're the same as each other. Just in this case, it happens that both sides are going to zero. Cool, so this is the correct equation for reduction. You could double check what you're doing by checking that for oxidation, you've got the electrons being lost and on the right side. Reduction, you're gaining electrons, they're on the left side. You're checking what you're doing as you're going through. So to make the overall equation, the key for an overall equation is that you've got no electrons in it. So whatever I do, I have to be able to cancel the electrons out, kind of like you would do in simultaneous equations in math. So this equation at the top, we're gonna to times the whole thing by two, because if I times it by two, then that means that those two electrons will cancel out with each other when I push them together into the overall. So for overall, we're taking everything on the left. So your 2Fe plus plus H2O2 plus 2H plus plus two electrons equals or goes to everything on the right. So 2Fe3 plus plus two electrons plus two H2O. And hopefully you can see these electrons would cancel out. Um, and so that would give me my overall equation for this reaction.